Good morning, guys, girls. Rob here, and uh, I want to address something, uh, a, a note that I got overnight. Um, it's from uh, um, someone that is a, a, a subscriber of the channel. No doubt about it. Had a big input in the channel over the last uh, few months. And um, he got re he's really upset with me. I mean, he is disgusted with me. And I want I wanted to address it. And then number uh, number one, I wanted to address um, the 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 letter that was sent to me. And then number two, I want to tell you how I'm going to uh, do from now on. If you know, and this is so. Let me let me read to you guys uh, what was sent to me. Okay, uh, it's the easiest way for me to do it. Um, I'll read it verbatim and then let you guys pretty much decide what you think about it. And, and, and you know what? Really, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grown fella, right? I'm a grown guy and not I, – I don't want to avoid them. You understand what I'm saying? I want to at least, I always speak about everybody that speaks positive about me. Let's speak, let me hear something about some people that doesn't always think positive of me. And, um, uh, you know, at least throw some light to it and um, let you guys decide what you think about it, okay? Um because the guy had every right in the world to send me the note that he sent me. All right. Here we go. I've got it coming up now. Um, I would like for you to hang around for a couple minutes and just listen to it. All righty. Let's see. I'll read the whole thing. I'll try to get done within a couple of minutes. It's, it's a few paragraphs. But um, I, I definitely want to... Uh, uh, read it to you. And this is coming from Mark. Uh, he's been a, a part of this channel for the better part of uh, six months to a year. And um, he's been nothing but positive. This is the one negative comment coming from. All right. So here we go. Uh, I have known Jim Trunzo for over 40 years. and He is one of the nicest guys I've ever known. And you talk about Anthony Crooks of Glory Days Boxing, being your friend, Anthony has been a friend of mine for almost 20 years. Ask Anthony Crooks how he feels about Jim Trunzo. I don't know how Anthony would react if he knew how you trash Jim Trunzo's name. Now, number one, I don't, I don't trash Jim Trunzo's name. I trash Jim Trunzo's uh, lack of any customer service, which it's lacking, truly. Mr. Trunzo was a high school teacher who touched the lives of hundreds of young people, many of whom stay in contact with him up to this day as adults because of the positive way he impacted their lives. If you were a member of the Title Belt 2 Facebook community group, you would see how Jim Trunzo goes out of his way and bends over backwards to take care of his customers. All right. Now, I'm going to address that right now. All right. So it, does it mean I have to be part of a Facebook community to get, to get customer, good customer service? If it does, that even speaks worse of it, okay? I should be able to come off the street, order something from this guy, and get my stuff the way I want it without having to be a part of a click. So let, let's keep going here. Um, uh, let's see. Ask the hundreds of title belt owners to that group how they feel about Jim Trunzo. So like I say, it, do you have to be in a click in order to be able to get good customer service? If that's the case, that's even worse. So you, you're not you're not making your case. You're, you're making it sound worse. Uh, it, it, and it is absolutely false that he has folded up his tent. Now I said that. Yeah, I did say he folded up his tent as far as going selling uh, just outright stuff. I know he's selling PDFs and stuff and quit. Title Bout 2 is not out of business. He is simply not going to ship from his house anymore. Okay. All right. So I messed up there. All right. You can still buy all of his game parts and all the boxes, 
boxes through a third party called Drive Through Cards. Okay. Mr. Trenzo is going to continue to rate fighters for a game. Maybe you had a bad experience with Mr. Trenzo over a game, but to talk trash about such an, an exceptional individual like this and then tell falsehoods about his business is just unbelievable. Well, it can't be falsehoods if it took seven to eight weeks for me to get it. Okay. I, word of mouth is how things work, guys. Word of mouth is how things work. I, I, I would hope that you will at least correct the falsehoods that you have told about his business. I've not told anything. I've not ever said anything bad about Title Belt 1 and Title Belt 2. They're good games. They're good games. His customer service sucks. That's all I've ever said. I've never said anything bad about the guy. His customer service sucks. I had one, I had one time I ordered and got a bad service. Okay, he never tried to make good on it. So uh, I don't have the right to say how things happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. That's just, I would hope that you would at least, uh, by the way, Jim Trenzo is beloved by the community he lives in because of the time and resources he gives to make lives yeah, and good. If he has the time to make lives around better, that's fine. Who are less fortunate? I wonder how many of us here do the same thing. And that, like I say, that is from Mark Moe. And my response is this. What's up, h -us? My response is this, okay? He, he, he may be the best, he, he may be the best human being in his neighborhood. He may be a preacher. I've never talked bad about the individual. I just said his customer service sucks. If he does not, if he's not able to, to understand when somebody pays him money that he's supposed to give a service back, then that's on him. That's not on me. Okay. Um, he might be a real nice guy. I've never spoke about his, we're talking about Jim Trunzo. He's a guy that uh, run title about two and title about one, the games. Uh, I've never talked about the individual. Okay. I've never said he's a bad guy. I've never said he's a bad person. All I've ever said was he lacks he lacks personality with his people with the customer service and he lacks customer service. He lives one state away from me. Okay, I could drive to where he's at in three hours, and it took seven to eight weeks between seven and eight weeks for me to get my uh, title belt game. This was I ordered it. Uh, uh, wow, begin of December 20, uh, th th this, 18, and I received it at the end of the month, January 2019. So you, you go by what you want to go by there, okay? It's not my job to know his personal life. That's not my job, guys, okay? When we rate, uh, if you go rate, what's up, Bruins fan? If you go rating somebody that does – something for you. Are you going back looking at what they do personally? No. I mean, my goodness, he, he can be whatever he is. He, he may be a preacher. He may go out, and give people food every day at a food bank. I don't know what he does, but that's not my job to find out what his personal life's all about. All I did was I bought a good from him and it took me eight weeks to get it. Okay. Okay. And do I have the right to say he has bad customer service? I don't have that right. I bought one thing from him and I wouldn't buy another thing from him again. But you guys decide on that. Do I have a right if I purchase something from somebody? Word of mouth is a bitch. Word of mouth can be a pain in the ass to people. They hate that. Especially if you get out here and actually get to the public and actually touch the public, and you actually tell people how it affected you. Do I have that right? You, you decide that. I feel I do. Because if, I, if you didn't know how my experience was, then you might jump in the same bucket. I want to know how – did he tell you it'll take two months to arrive beforehand? No. 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 What I mean – let me tell you this, too. Let me tell you this one. All right. It was it, it was um, when I ordered it, it was put on there that uh, in stock. 
in stock, okay? It was not out of stock. It was in stock. And then it was postmarked. The postmark was January 18th or 19th, something like that, six weeks later. It was postmarked. So what I'm saying is it's not like he got lost in the mail. Did he update you along? And I never got one thing. No, that's what I'm saying. I never received one message. I tried to contact him by phone three different times, and I tried to contact him by email about three or four different times. He never got back to me. Okay? You see, um, Mark Moe, a very nice guy, and he's in a part of the community, got, is very upset with me because I, he says I have trashed this individual. I, I, I'm like this about it. Title Bout 1 and Title Bout 2 are very good games. I do not talk bad about the game. If that happened to me after a couple of weeks, I would have thought I got scammed. Yeah. I thought somebody took my money. That's right. And Mark says, I don't have the right to come on here and, and trash, quote, unquote, trash the guy. All, all I know is this. Am I supposed to go back and do a history check of everybody I buy stuff from? Am I supposed to go back and find out that Jim Trunzo is a good guy? Is that my job? No. My job is to go online, buy stuff, and, and expect a service within a reasonable amount of time. And if seven to eight weeks to you is reasonable, sir, that's fine. That's okay. But all I'm saying is I have every legal right to come out and say, look, the, the guy took me seven to eight weeks. He didn't scam me. I got my stuff. But how do you feel about it if it took you that long and you never heard one word from it? Okay. Now, you know, and he never, when I got it, he never did say, sorry, thank you. You know, I, I'm sorry it, did, it took us long. Nothing. Okay. Had he been in the hospital or something and got a note with it and been like, well, uh, somebody's been in the hospital. It's taking us long. And I apologize. I would never brought it up, but when I got it, not a note or anything was attached inside. So you guys decide. Um, I'm like, yes, a word, a man is only good as his word. Okay. That's, that's, that's the way I've always been. A man is only as good as his word and what he's in his actions. Um, you've seen me on my channel before. I, you know, I very seldom get upset, but don't try to scam me and don't, and, and don't try to sugarcoat things. Okay. I, if it's a bad game, I'll tell you it's a bad game. If it's a good game, I'll tell you it's a good game, but don't, it takes items quicker to arrive for China. Yeah. Yeah. Some things from China get here quicker. So if I upset you guys, I'm upset. I hope you're still a member of my channel. Uh, uh, no, 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 Bruins. No, I, I, I'm at home. I stay at home all the time. My wife actually works, and I take care of the yard. I take care of different things here and out here um, on the property. So I, I pretty much take care of the property. Uh, I got some more stuff to do once it starts cooling off in the summertime here. It's terrible, though. But, hey, anybody that I offend – by saying that, all I can say is this, okay? I will not back down on my beliefs. If if all I've got to go on is the way how somebody treats me in a deal, one on one deal, and they, you know, they do me wrong. All I've got to go on is that. You know, he sent he sends me this long letter saying how he does great for the community, and he he gives to the community and all that. It's not my job to find out what he does. I don't care if he's a preacher. Okay? He could be a preacher at a church. Does that give him the right that if I buy something from him, he can wait eight weeks to send it to me? You didn't you guys decide that, okay? Look, I am not, I'm most of the time pretty vocal about how I feel about how people treat me. And I hope you guys are pretty vocal about it. I like people to know how they did me because I don't want you to get burned the same way. That's why I say stuff. Okay. 
His game's good. His game is really good. Would I ever buy anything from the man again? No. Uh, uh, relief. My wife said, my wife even said this. This was what she said when it came in the mail. She said, now you never have to mess with him again. That was the, that was her words. So, look, all I can say is, if you disagree with what I'm saying here today, give me a thumbs down. Okay? All right? If you agree with what I say, give me a thumbs up. Okay? There's not many times I ask for the thumbs up. I'm not going to say I'm changing my ways for anybody. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to come out here and tell you that if I get more thumbs down, I'm going to change my ways. Old dog can only learn so many new tricks. I'm just saying I want to see how many people disagree with what, my view of the, thing, the situation. Uh, you're in the public eye. You're not going – you're not going to please everyone. You have to speak what you feel. It, it's your right. And that's why I feel about it. But, you know, he was told, you know, he told me, he said, this guy's a nice individual. You, you're trashing him. You should not be talking bad about him and all this type of stuff. Well, I'm not talk, trashing his, I'm not just, tra I'm not trashing the man. I'm just trashing his customer service or lack thereof. Okay. I'm just saying I would never do business with a person like that again. I would not want to. And am I seven to eight weeks? And like I say, I'm one state away. I'm in Virginia. He's in North Carolina. That's it. And I'm in the southern part of Virginia. Hell, if I started walking, I could walk to North Carolina in three hours. So all, I, all I'm saying is this, guys. What, where am I wrong in this process? Okay. Am I supposed to go do a background check on everybody I purchased something from? If that's the case, something's wrong in this world. Okay. If this guy's a preacher, if this guy's a teacher, if this guy is a whatever, I don't care if he's a cardinal in the, in the, in the, uh, in the church, Does it, it doesn't give him the right, any more right than me. Right. And that's why I, that's, that's just what I'm stating. Mark Mo, you have been a great person in my community. I don't want to lose you. I respect you for what you say. I disagree with you, but I respect you for saying for saying what you say and to defend your friend. But I want you to see my side of things. If you do not understand where I'm coming from and you do not come back to my channel, I hate much you know much respect. And, I, and there's no, no hard feelings on my end at all. But I just want you to know where I stand, okay? And anytime someone asks me where I've had negative and where I've had positive, uh, so you never talk to him for an explanation. Oh, no, I've never, I've never spoke to the guy. He's never said a word to me as far as, uh, -uh never, no. He never sent me anything. I never sent him anything back. That's for sure. So all I'm saying is this. Anytime somebody asks me my good, my good experiences, I simply give them to them. And most all of them are good. Anytime I've had bad experiences, I'm going to tell them my bad experiences. I'm sorry. If that offends any of you out there, I, you know, I'm sorry. But I, have, I feel I have it right. Um, like I say, I've never, I've never spoken bad about the man's character. I don't know about his character. And it's not my job to find out about his character. You know? All I have spoken bad about is his customer service and lack thereof. And I, I, look, let's say 50 other people got their stuff on time. Good for them. But if I don't get my stuff on time, I have all the right in the world to at least let people inform people, look, this was my experience. You may get burned that way. And did I receive it? Yes, I did receive it. But should it have taken seven to eight weeks? If, if it should have some kind of thing below it and say, look, you may, it may take you eight, seven to 10 weeks, kind of like some of this crap on TV that you buy as seen on TV. That might take seven to 10 weeks. But for me to order something directly from you, 
Okay. And uh, yeah. And, and then you just, I don't know. I don't know if he brushed me off. I don't know what it was, but I do know that if somebody buys something from me, I know in the next couple, three days, I better get it out. Right. And if, if it's going to California, it's going to take two or three days. So we're talking a week tops. If something was ordered from him and wanted to go to California, it shouldn't take over a week, seven to eight. You, you, you know, come up with your own explanations because I don't know where it was. Okay. And if I was lost in the shuffle, all I say is, why wouldn't there have been a letter say, uh, dear Rob, due to the fact I, I misplaced your order or this or that or whatever, but nothing, zero came across my, zero came across in the box that I received from him. It just didn't. So, I, you know, um, if I, if I upset some people, I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm not looking to. But to expect me to change my stance on it, it's not happening. I'm sorry. You know, um, you don't have to like me. You know, but and, and look, it's not that I don't like him. But at least, you know, throw some respect someone's way. Whether you, and I respect Mark Moe for speaking his mind. Mark Moe came out and said what he thought. I respect him for that. Um, I don't agree with him, but I respect him for it. And I wanted to come out here and let you guys know that, look, everybody doesn't always agree with me. Um, and, and that, you know, um, and that's the thing. We all have we all have our our friends, whoever whoever they may be. And I do know that Anthony Crooks is a friend of Jim Trunzo. I know that. But I have also told Anthony before how I felt. Okay. Now, Anthony's never come up to me and said, Well, Rob, you know, if you keep, you know, if you keep this or something like that, nothing to a um, I, I, and I don't even want to call it a threat, but he's never come up to me and said, well, if you continue this or whatever, I'm not going to mess with you or whatever. I've never been, never been received some type of ultimatum from somebody. All I can say is this, that was my customer service back at my, at, at, with me one time and one time only. And it won't be a second time, whether he keeps selling stuff or whether he doesn't keep stuff. Did he say this on the chat? No, he left me a message. He wrote me a, a big, long letter last night. Mark did. And, hey, look, if you see Mark in chat, I want you to be good to him, nice to him, because, hey, he's always been nice to me. That's his feelings on Jim, and he has every reason to take up for his friend. I just want him to realize where I'm coming from. I'm not attacking the guy on a personal level. I, I'm attacking him on a customer service level. I feel I have a right to because that's the way I was treated. Okay. And, 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 and to come back, well, if that's, if yes, you know, he's treated thousands of people great, especially the people on his Facebook channel. All right. To me, that even makes him less credible. Okay. That, okay. I have to be part of a Facebook community to be treated well. All right. If, if that's the case, that's even worse. Okay. So let me, let me put it that way already. If, if, if your response is, well, my, all my Facebook friends and all his Facebook community, he treats everybody great. All right. Does that mean that if I'm not part of that Facebook community, then, well, you know, so be it. You don't really have a number one. You don't have a right to really come out and talk about you, man. And number two, if your customer service is not quite as good, it's just because you're not part of that community. Is that part? Is that part of the reason? If that is, that's even more reason to to do shout from the ceiling. So I'm just letting you know, um, you didn't you didn't really give him good credit there. You discredited him even more by talking about his Facebook friends, saying how well he treats them, where some of the people that are not Facebook people and just want to order something from somebody, well. You know, if you don't get it, be damned. You know, is that the way it works? I mean, 
that, I don't know. I'm just quoting what you tell me. I knew nothing about a Facebook group or Facebook friend group or how they, how well they were treated. I don't know nothing about it. All I'm saying is this. When somebody sends 50 bucks some wise way, it, I don't, you know, that's when I'm, I'm starting to, you know, doesn't everybody have that right to be treated equally? That's all I'm saying. And, and if, if, if that means everybody gets treated suck, it's bad. Well, that's one thing. Or if everybody gets treated well, that's one thing. But, you know, I would hope he didn't go back and say, well, Rob Kinsler, um, uh, well, he's not a member of my Facebook group. So, you know, I get it to him when I can. I would hope not. Okay. So, you know, you, you're not pushing your point across real well there when you talk about, well, the Facebook group has always been treated well. That kind of, that's a red flag there. It's up. Um, uh, Mark Moe sent me a letter overnight uh, talking about, he was very, very upset how I was trashing Jim Trunzo, who, who I don't know the man. I've never trashed Jim Trunzo. I've trashed his customer service and his lack thereof. And that's, that's it. That's it. His customer service sucks. And, and I'm not going to talk bad. I'm not going to talk good about it. Okay. And, and let me also tell, tell people this. Are you on TikTok, Rob? I am not. Uh -uh. I have never been. Um, now I won't bring it up. I won't bring it up. I was going to bring up something. That's, I don't even need to bring that up. Um, let's just say it this way, okay? Um, I've done my one and only time of customer service with Jim Trunzo, as long as I know about it. You know, now he may get into another venture, business venture, whatever. I don't know about and don't find out about it until I've ordered something. And uh, if that's the case, then shame on Rob. You know, that's the way I feel about it. But um, I feel like I have every right to come out and tell you guys how I was treated. Mark was upset. I offended his, his you know, I talked about his friend and he didn't like it. All I can say, Mark, is this, okay? You've been a great part of the community. I hope you stay a great part, you know, a part of the community. Negative or positive responses are, you know, I, I want them. how you feel. It lets me know how things going are going on in on the channel. Okay, it doesn't, I, it, you know, and I I just came on here to explain what I said, and I wanted to explain, it, but I'm not backing down from my comments. Okay, I would never deal with the guy again. All right. People ask me, I'm going to tell them I'm not dealing with him again. Do I say bad about his game? I have never talked bad about his game. Um, um, Benny Blade says, I recall Mark Moe bashing other boxing games, saying they are ripping off Jim's rating cards. So consider the source. I don't know. Mark's, Mark's always been, hey, he's always been a straight up dude with me. I can I cannot say anything bad about Mark, except like I say, it's not it's not an except even. He just sounded off right here, letting me know that he, you know that this right here uh, hit him it hit him in a spot that uh, you know he he didn't like it, didn't appreciate it. So all I can say is that um, you know um, it's, he's got good games. Okay, his customer service stinks whether he stays in business, whether he goes out of business. That's not my problem. And I really can care less. I hope I do not wish, uh, do not wish bad for the man. As far as physical, I don't know nothing about that. Um, I don't, I don't wish anything bad for him because I've heard he, somebody in his family or something has physical problems or having some sort of problems. I don't wish bad on nobody. Okay. All I'm saying is this. You see the name Jim Trunzo, and you see him trying to sell you an item. 
I, I, you know, buyer beware. That's all I tell the people. Buyer beware. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you, you know, whatever, whatever he's got going on. I'm just saying buyer beware. Watch what you do because I got burned. You know, it's no way something should take eight weeks. What's in my yogurt? Oh man, I got some, uh, I got granola and I got strawberry, I mean, uh, uh, blueberry, blueberry yogurt. And uh, I haven't taken a bite of it yet. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, spent 30 minutes on this. And I, hey, all I wanted to do was get back to Mark about this. No bacon this morning. No, no. Sometimes I, I cook it on my grill right here. I, I just, I just cut the grill on. That way I don't have to heat the house up. You know I mean? It might be spiked. You are fired up. Oh, no, no, no. No, I just, I, all I wanted to do was state to Mark uh, a response, okay? I, and, and I'm not apologize. I'm not apologize, not in the least. But I wanted to at least give my side of things. Anybody wishing to see Mark's uh, response to me, uh, go back and watch one of my last videos about um, how we were rating games yesterday. Mark Moe's entire uh, transcript is down below there. You can read it all. Okay. And all I ask is this, don't be mean to Mark and don't, please don't use bad words one way or the other, or please don't use bad words. Get back to me. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you don't agree with Mark, that's fine. Just don't be, don't, you know, try to cut somebody down bad one way or the other. It doesn't matter. You know? So, uh, I bet if you took a poll on his customer service, it would be poor. I don't, you know, I don't know. I cannot tell you that. Actually, that's somebody actually put here. So I, I don't know what's going on here. So uh, uh, somebody's backing out. But I, you know, I don't know. And all uh, that's what I'm saying though is all I can say is how I was treated. Okay, it's not my it's not my job to find. If you go back. And look at any of the things I rate, restaurants, different things. I give them high ratings if they did me well. If you do me bad, I give you a bad rate. I don't want to cause trouble or be aggravating, so I'll stay out of it. This ain't my business. <laughs> HUS. All I say is this. If you read it, read read, read what, uh, like I say, read what Mark, Mark Moe put up, okay? You may agree with him, and you can say, hey, thumbs up, brother. And, you know, I understand, you know, I saw Rob's video and I don't agree with what Rob said. Or you can always say, look, you know, I don't think you're right there. You know, if you don't have, all I say is be respectable. Either, either side you lie on, okay? Um, and I've been trying to be as respectful of Mark as I could on this situation. I just want to state my, my side of things. I want him to know how I felt about things and, 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 and why. And that's the only thing I wanted to come on here and do and let you guys know from a, the broad perspective how things happened with me. So you guys can go back, definitely go back and read Mark's comments um, and, and and give a reply. You don't even have to give a reply. Just go back and read You and you can understand, you know, he tells you about how, you know, how he's part of the community, how he's been a teacher and all this type of stuff. He's known him for 40 years, you know. So, obviously, he knows the guy. But does that give him the right to have a bad customer service if you're going to be selling something? That's all I'm saying. That's all I've said. I've never said the guy was a bad guy. All I said is his customer service lacks and really sucks, and it's really not, it's not even there. That's all I've said, okay? I've never done a strat thing and said, oh, my God, the game sucks. No way. His game is not a bad game. He doesn't have a bad game. If you're able to get one secondhand from somebody, I, I wholeheartedly say, yes, if you get a good deal on it, buy it. I just would not deal with him. That's all. That's all I say, you know, and that's the only thing I, a negative I've ever said about the man. And if, you know, like I say, go back and read what Mark said, 
You may agree. You may disagree with me. You may agree or disagree with him. All I say is keep it not maybe not cordial, but at least keep it um, from going to the extreme either way. Whether you whether you're going to talk bad about me or talk about bad about him, don't please don't get to where it's um, you using words you shouldn't be using on here. Okay, that's all I'm asking. Okay, be you know don't be hurtful to either party to either side because I don't really want nobody to be hurt in this situation. And I definitely you know like I say, Mark had every right to come out and say what he said. I just feel I have the right to defend myself at least let you guys know my situation. So um, before I had to say anything else that offends my whole community, I had a Motor City pizza last night. Do they have thin crust? Do you know? As far as I know, I don't think so. I think it's a thick. Bruins had you, had you rate it. Zero to ten. What would you give it? And what was on it? Yeah. We're changing, we're changing the subject real quick. Bruins fan had a Motor City pizza last night. Do they have thin crust? I don't think so. I think they're only uh, Detroit style is what they call them. They're like, a, they're like a deep dish type deal. Um, and uh, number one, we're going to find out what Bruins fan says as far as his rating. He gave it an eight. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. And what would you have on it? Um, as you know, if you watch me and the wife, we will not eat mushrooms. Um, and we don't do uh, – uh, olives. We don't do olives. Um, I don't really like onions on mine. I'm not a big onions person. I'm really not. I don't like onions on a hamburger unless they really fry it up and cooked up real well. So let's see what kind. He, uh, so generally, what we get is all like all meat type, or sometimes just a pepperoni, sometimes whatever. But uh, sausage and pepperoni. Yeah, and the sausage actually has a little bit of kick to it. It's pretty good. So Bruins fan gave it an 8.0, okay? Yeah, anybody out there, um, during this month, I started to eat red pepper and a lot of cabbage. I've gotten really low on vitamin C recently. You know what? I don't like red pepper, and, and I don't like cabbage. Uh, I eat a lot of salads. Um, yeah, it's a frozen pizza, Benny Blades. Yeah, Motor City Pizza. You got to go back in one of my older videos, and you can see what, what Motor City Pizza looks like. It's like... A, it's in a pan, like a plastic pan already, about probably that deep, probably three quarters to an inch deep. And it's a square pizza. It's a square type pizza. And um, so, uh, yeah, if you if you get a chance to, but it's a good, it's a good frozen pizza. Um, Bruins gave it an eight. I, mine's, I think mine ratings a nine something on it. And that's personally my favorite one right now. Um, yeah, definitely look for it. Go back and look at some of my ratings. Go back to my uh, homepage and then go to where it says videos and just scroll down and then you'll see where I've got picture of um, Motor City Pizza. Yeah, take a photo of it and go to a store. Um, Google it. Google it. Motor City Pizza. You can actually find it there too and uh, find out what you, you find out anything as far as where they deal with it and all. But I'm able to get it at my Walmart, my local Walmart. I'm able to find it. And, um, you know, one time there they said, we're not going to go out of business now because Rob buys so many. Need more cheese, good crust. See, that's the thing for me, Bruins fan. I'm not a big fan of cheese. I don't like too much cheese. Crust is good. I like good sauce on mine. Good, a good little kicky sauce to it. I've been drinking two Diet Cokes a day for about three months straight. And apparently type 2 diabetes increases by 10% if you have one a day. Oh, dear Lord. If I knew that before taking, I would never drink it so often. Never drink a diet drink in my life. Never. Um, people tell me the closest thing to the real actual thing is diet Mountain Dew to Mountain Dew. I don't know. I don't drink it. I drink Gatorade. Gatorade zero. Zero calories, folks. I can get me a big one. I can get me a big 30-ounce one. Sit here and drink on it for a while. Uh, orange, the green, uh, it's, you know, lime, whatever. Artificial colors aren't that good. Yeah. Um, the Gatorades, I really, I like two or three different flavors, but uh, uh, they're not, they don't, they're not any calories in them. 
So I, I can definitely tell you guys, definitely give it a try if you get the chance to take a chance with some uh, uh, Gatorade Zero, okay? Uh, now, next week, they may come up and say, Gatorade Zero are killing people. I'm not dead yet, and I drink them pretty often. Uh, every, every week, one day, tomatoes are good for you, tomatoes are bad for you. Potatoes are good for you, potatoes are bad for you. It depends on who you talk to, guys. All I, all I know is I think it's better for you than diet soda. I really do. Are you waiting for the mailman? You know, no, I'm actually out here because the wife is uh, uh, she's out, uh, she's doing meetings this morning. But, yes, today I will get my inside to cup golf. No, I won't get it for at least three more hours, three, four more hours. But I'm planning on playing it tonight, uh, sawgrass. So – I just have to pick two or three golfers out and play it and see how how well we like it. And I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Uh, I ordered it all the way from Idaho on Monday. This is Thursday. I'm getting it all ready, and I didn't order it Monday eve uh, Monday till afternoon evening. And I've got I bought it at the local Costco. Good stuff. Oh, okay. The, the frozen pizza. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, do you, do you drink Monster? I know. I don't drink Monster Energy drinks. I do not drink Red Bull. None of that shit. That is some heart, that, that's some heart killers there. They are heart killers. I let that sit too long. It's no good now. Jeez. Oh, man. I'm not going to eat it. I've said it out here for the animals. Squirrels eat it. Um, text to come out here and top off my coffee. Drink of water. That's a shame. I sit here and run my mouth so long. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, guys, um, I'll be back home a little while after lunch today. Oh, oh, Dale. Yeah, I did a I did a Dale report a little while, a little earlier. Yeah, um, Dale, here we go. Good morning. Really, nothing new to report except I can get in to see him, and he is chatting with me now with his slate. So he's chatting. Still appears to be real weak. Doctor says they are going to run some tests on him today, so I should have better information on the evening update. Okay, as per Dale's request, he has something for you. Hello, Rob. This is Dale. Hope everything is in your family and all the YouTube family. Just want to thank everyone for all the prayers and well wishes sent my way. I really do appreciate it. My sister will conti still continue to give you updates, and I'll speak when I can. You want to sign off for now. Capital letters. Miss you guys. How about that? How about that? Dale. Yep. How about that? Class guy. Class act. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, nice guy, man. Nice guy. And he, you know, all I'll say is this. It, this tells me what type of person he is. She said just before they're sticking the tubes down his throat and they're going to put him to sleep. Don't forget to inform the YouTube guys, Rob and all the YouTube family, about what's going on. Now do it. You tell me. You know what I'm saying, guys? That's what I'm saying. It's just, it, it's incredible. Um, anybody wishing to give any money toward Dale, and, um, we're just making up a fund. So when he gets out to the hospital, we're just going to send some money his way. That's my email address. You can send it. PayPal, five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever you can afford. No more than what you can afford. Just send what you can afford. Send it as a gift. That way it will not get taxed. Gift. And when he gets out, I'm going to put the amount and how much you sent. And I'm either going to cut a check or either just send him straight up. If he's got PayPal, I'm just going to send him PayPal. And he can do whatever he needs to with his money, buy groceries, um, you know, pay a car, pay whatever, whatever. I don't care. 
but the guy's going to be in there at least until the beginning of August. So he's getting cooped up. Obviously, he can't work. He's not making any money. He may he may be drawing disability. I don't know about that. But I just figure we can help him out some. So um, I'm sending, um, you know, all the uh, the um, history maker baseball, the 1980 season, the 2020 season, and the, all the rest of the teams I've got, I'm sending it to him. I'm just going to donate that. So that's going to be a little, little part of what I do. I may send some money too. But I am going to donate all that. I was going to ask 90 bucks for that. So nobody send me money for the baseball game. That's going to Dale as soon as he gets out the hospital. I just don't want somebody stealing it off his front step. Am I religious? Um, I believe in God. I feel like I, it's, you know what? I wouldn't have my wife, dude, if it, it was somebody out there watching out for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she's a good lady. She's a good woman. So somebody up there is watching out for me. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I, I feel like somebody's watching out for me. And when I pray, it seems to work as far as, um, you know, I don't always get my way, you know. Uh, but I've always heard that the Lord does things in mysterious ways. And um, he sent me, I, some way or another, I got my wife. As I've seen, I'm religious kind of, but don't go really go to church, so I don't even know if I'm actually real. You know what? I don't think going to church makes you religious. I don't think going to church, a, a building and listening to somebody preach, I don't think that makes you religious. I just think, Number one, do do right to people. Treat people right. Um, what does it say? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. What what I mean, what better thing can you say than that? You teach your kids to do right. You're taught by your parents to do right. You know, expect expect people to do you the same way. Um, just treat people good, man. Um, you don't see me on my rants too often in here. You really don't, but don't do me wrong. Cause I, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm a nice guy generally, but don't treat me bad and don't treat people around me bad. Cause I'm going to let people know how you do people. Okay. That's all I ask. Treat me the way you want me to treat you. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And um, live by that. All my, yeah, that's the thing. That's all it is, man. Be good to people. What I mean, does that does that make you non-religious if you don't go to church? I don't think so. Uh, you may not know the Bible inside and out, but you're not going out here trying to bother anybody. My parents used to go to church all the time, but they stopped going like eight years ago. Last time they went to church was to the church was for a wedding a year ago. And, you know, once in a while I'll go out here. The church is right across the street. I mean, it's 200 yards away from me. It's right across the street. That's where my wife goes, right there. And she'll drive over there, sometimes walks over there. It just depends. And she enjoys doing it. And I have nothing but respect for her. Because she likes to go, she likes to see her friends. Sometimes she, sometimes she tries to uh, rob. Why don't you go to church with me? You know, you're gonna be a heathen and all that. But I think in the back of her mind, she really knows that. Uh, she knows that I know there's somebody out there watching over us all the time. We both pray before we go to bed. Uh, is most is it mostly Catholic neighborhood you be living in? or more atheist. Oh, no, no, this is, this is Baptist, man. Who won the Bristol race last night? Um, the all-star race, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott won it. No, this is mostly uh, – there's very few Catholics down south. What's up at Bachata? Very few Catholics down south. Yeah. Uh, once, you, once you get below – once you get below uh, Maryland, then you're starting to get to – uh, Methodists, uh, Baptists, 
it's not that much difference in the churches because I've went inside the family. But that's a, that's a Baptist church right across the street, like I say, where my wife goes. And, uh, yeah, it's I, it, I just think it's respect. And that's what I think. And I don't think it's a southern thing. I don't think it's a northern thing. I don't think it's an eastern thing, a western thing. I just think it's how you are brought up. If you're brought, there's too many for Christianity. Maybe so, but I respect them all. Everybody's got their own different thing. All I say is this. If you mom, and, and, and I've watched kids before, you know, being that I was in school, you know, I, was, I had school taught for about four and a half, five years. And I would teach kids real quick, look, you don't go messing with nobody's stuff that's not yours. Number two, you ask before you do before you do it. And then number three, you treat people the right way. And very seldom do I ever have fights in my classroom because it we got to the point where we were just about like family and students would cry. Like if 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 they did something wrong and I sent them to sent them to uh, the uh, office it, it, they weren't crying because I was sending them to the office they were crying because they knew they let us down let me and the whole class down and that that's what you want because that shows that shows there that the kid has my neighbor is to to my left is actually Sikh might be the only Sikh family in Ohio good guys oh, that's cool but you find out real quick if if the kids you're dealing with have a you know a heart a conscience you know have you ever done this let me ask you guys this when you were in school did you ever forget your lunch money and say okay can I borrow two dollars from you and be a kid that you know pretty well not your friend but somebody you know pretty well they give you two bucks. What's the one thing that stays in your mind? You, it stays in your mind if you've got a conscience that you got to pay this person back two dollars, and it'll, it'll worry you a little bit. It even put it even puts a little, you know. I've been told from doctors that that's what puts like that's what puts like uh, wrinkles on your face and shit like that. Just because you've got a conscience and you know by doing right. You need to pay that person back their $2. And having a conscience is an awesome thing. Because it lets me know then that somewhere along the way, somebody taught you something right. Somebody taught you good. If you have a conscience. And, or you just are a good person overall. Maybe you, maybe you weren't taught that. But overall, you're a pretty good person. If you've got a conscience, you, you know Deep down inside, it just grits at you. That you know, I mean, you may not think about it all day long, but every time you see somebody, every time somebody throws that two dollars on the table, you come up with, "Oh, geez, I owe that person two dollars." It's just, it's just human nature, guys. And some of us, I would hope most of us have that conscience that it eats at you if if you know you're doing something. Or and it's not really wrong. It just lets you know it's like a, a little light on in there. Oh, don't forget, don't forget, you owe this person two dollars. It's a little light, and um, that's why you want to get it paid up quick as you can to be good. And uh, and I think, yeah, I might be wrong. <laughs> I might be wrong. I've, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. Um, you guys have watched the whole video. I appreciate it. Um, I want to, I want to let everybody know out there. I do appreciate everybody that's a member of my channel. Um, I get positive comments. Did I go to a city school? No, I went to, a, I went to a county school and, uh, 200 graduated in my class, a hundred guys, a hundred girls. Yeah, exactly. Um, I want, I want everybody to know that I appreciate everybody that comes to my channel um i you know i most of the time positive comments that i get i just simply thumbs up thank you this that you're not overlooked 
But when I do receive a negative one, I don't want it to be like I'm throwing it to the curve and I'm forgetting about you. I would rather for you, I'd rather for you to be heard. Okay. And I would rather for it to be known why I come out and say what I say. Try to defend myself to some point. You don't have to agree with me. Okay, guys. Um, we don't always agree about politics. We don't always agree about a lot of things. But I just wanted you to hear my side of things. Uh, whether you agree with everything I said or nothing I said, or whether you agree with everything Mark said or everything, you know, on parts of what he said. All I can say is this. I don't want anybody thinking any less of me or Mark for where our comments. He made his comments directly stated to me. I just simply wanted to uh, come back and let people know, especially if you went and watched the video, went, you know, read it, everything, read everything. All I wanted to let you know was how I was responding to it. Okay. Um, will I change my ways? Probably not. Uh, I, I, you know, and I, but I don't bring it up. I don't like to even bring it up unless somebody asked me, should I buy something? Should I purchase something? And then I do bring it up. And that's the only time. But word of mouth is a son of a bitch. I've told people that a lot of times. You know, um, word of mouth means a lot. And that's why I try to people try to treat people the best I can. Because if people know that I treat people right, then I know that somewhere out there somebody thinks that I'm doing I'm doing okay somewhere, you know? But and if I do screw up, which I do, I know that. I'll be the last to say I don't screw up. I like to be accountable for it. And that's all I, I that's all I wanted there was accountability. And I just wasn't getting it, you know. So uh, you guys judge uh, what you saw this whole video, the whole last hour. And, and, and do accordingly. If that means that you no longer want to be a part of this channel, um, I'm sorry. But uh, if, but just please don't be trashing people too bad. I don't care who you trash. I mean, who you want to trash. Uh, just don't. Please don't. All I'm saying um, is just be good to one another and, you know, appreciate each other. And uh, you don't have to agree with everything, everything everybody says. I just like to say one out here and let you guys know what's going on. Okay. And um, if you do, if you're kind of blind to the fact of what's going on, go back to yesterday's rating of video, a uh, rating of uh, board games, and just go back and see what Mark Mo, uh, a little the letter he sent me, okay? And then come back and watch this. And then come back with your own conclusion, whether you feel this way, that way, or, or indifferent. If you don't give a damn one way or the other, you know, hey, all that says is, I'm not getting involved, but if you, if you decide to, all I say is just be nice to each other, and that's, that's all I ask is don't be cruel to whoever. Okay, my my name's Rob, and um, the mail's coming in a little while. We're gonna have inside the cup golf, Mark Mo. I do want to let you know that uh, you had every right to uh, post your letter, and I just wanted to let you know have a response. That's all I wanted. Um, I'm hoping there's no hard feelings. If there are and it's uh, fractured a relationship or fractured uh, a YouTube relationship, then I'm sorry for that, but uh, uh, I'm not backing down on my stances. Okay. Um, I, he's told, Anthony has told me before he's been, that, um, that he's been always been good to him. Yes. Yes, Anthony's always said he's been a good guy to him. But I, but I, nevertheless, I've always told Anthony how I felt. So that's what I'm saying. To, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell anybody any different. Okay, if my mom comes right here right now, if my dad comes here right now, if Anthony came here right now, if Jim Tronto came right here right now, standing right in front of me, I wouldn't be mean to him. I'd just be like, you know. I just never understood why you did what you did. Oh, I was upset with the way, he, you know, his customer service. 
I would simply, I would sit down and drink a cup of coffee with him or whatever. Cause I don't know the individual that's a person. All I know is what, you know, how I was re received. And that's all I can go by. You guys have a great day. Inside the Cup Golf will be t this evening, tonight, somewhere along the way. I can promise you it's going to be sawgrass. Because, oh, well, as long as they send me sawgrass. As long as they do, as long as their customer service is okay, I'm going to have sawgrass and I'm going to have the uh, 2019 golfers is who I'm going to have. So, uh, hey, you all have a great day. If you want to, give me a thumbs up. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, give me a thumbs down. I do not take offense to it. I just, I just want people to watch my channel. Um, I prefer you to like, which is watch, but uh, just don't get upset about it to the point where it really makes you pissed off because um, yeah, we don't need that, especially with all this COVID stuff going on right now. And Lord, please bring us a little bit of rain. We could use a little bit. Looks like it wants to get a little cloudy out here. It may want to rain, but um, I'm going to go in, charge my computer up, and I'm either going to have some golf right here on this table will probably be indoors though. god bless guys have a great great day be good to one another wash your hands wash your hands wash your hands and wash them again wear your mask when you need to read up on inside the cup i did I, yeah i did read up on inside the cup and i watched it being played so yeah if you want to watch a little bit of it before i get it go just put inside the cup get, uh, golf game on youtube and you can actually watch it being played. And some guys really explain how it's played to a T. So uh, have a good one, guys. God bless. And I do thank you for uh, watching my Bye-bye.